What's going on guys back on the video today we're doing chills so let's go with this Take this list as a personal promise from me to you These videos will give you the chills After all I have to live up to my name Number 12 This video was brought to my attention on the chills narrator subreddit by a user named Ryan Cool Vids The baby monitor <laughs> of a family in Michigan catches a transparent figure briskly walking by the crib of their sleeping daughter Moments later, the toddler's head pokes out to see if one of their parents is in the room, but they are nowhere near. Weirdest and most- The reason I'm in the bathroom recording this is because that I had no quietness. I can't do the video, so I'm doing it in the bathroom. Frightening of all is how you can see the figure literally vanishes seconds after it walks by the crib. It crosses the room and then it disappears before it gets to the doorway, almost like an emotionally charged event destined to repair itself without end. Before we go any further, it's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. Number 11. These videos were taken at the annual Global Citizen Music Festival of 2018 in New York City. Everyone is enjoying the late night concert until a crowd of people suddenly start trying to escape and basically cause a stampede. Yeah, Nobody knows what they are running from, and they won't find out until much later. But everybody is moving fast and afraid for their lives. Their voices are filled with panic and raw fear fuels their every step as they grab their friends and try to get out as fast as they can. What the f just happened? situation becomes all too real when a head officer okay. so first you have a baby like okay, something vanishes in a baby's room then you have somebody running away from like a shooting or something this is I mean, this is a crazy see if I wasn't that if I was that baby no if I was that if I was the dad of that baby we'd be moving we would be moving out there. I, I NYPD so comes on stage and makes a brief and serious sounding announcement. is all the police will say without any further explanation which sends everyone into even more of an uproar those who make it out find the entrance is swarming with emergency vehicles but still nobody knows why as it turns out the source of the commotion was a large steel barricade that fell over and made a loud banging noise the bang carried throughout the venue and sounded like someone discharging a firearm <laughs> which caused a panic i can only imagine how stressful this must have been for everybody especially when none of them know what is wrong at the time fortunately a strong police presence was able to keep the evacuation orderly and help stop people from trampling over each yeah. other um, number 10 Sophie Dosi is a talented contortionist with a twisted sense of humor, so to speak. Here she does a crab walk backwards at top speeds with her head barely hanging above the floor. This is a really creative, ingenious way to scare people that I've never seen done before. But I can't help but think it's a little dangerous too. I mean, if she steps on her hair while walking like this, her neck could snap all the way back. Maybe I'm just exaggerating, but I think I see it almost happen multiple times as she races down the aisle, which adds a whole new level of fear to the overall situation. Number 9. Not even gated security is enough to stop this oh, complete right. and total- okay. That is creepy. That is creepy. She could break her neck. That- if I saw that- oh, oh, I'll probably puke. I'm just not puke, I'm just exaggerating, but- I would be grossed out. I would, uh, I'm just gonna think it's nasty. A stranger from prowling around people's homes in Las Vegas. Here he is caught on a what? doorbell cam while standing outside of someone's door in the middle of the night. Aww. You can see a momentarily freeze in place, look inside their window with a trance like state. It looks like he is making an important decision in his mind. He holds a blade with the tip facing outwards and then he turns around. For more than three hours, the man roams around the upscale neighborhood, looking for who knows what. And if anyone stopped to question him, I would have little doubt that he would have let his blade do the talking. 
Number eight. This video is taken near the Pearl Tower in Shanghai, China. The forecast is clearly cloudy and thunder can be heard in the distance. It appears Ooh. people began recording when they saw someone who appears to be levitating or hanging off the tower. Suddenly, there's a surge of lightning. What is and it that? appears is this person acts as a lightning rod because he's shocked numerous times by the lightning. Guys, but the man is fine and stays suspended in midair. I couldn't find any additional information on the incident. So it appears we'll never know what happened to this individual beyond the recording of this video. If this video is real. If it is. Number seven. The local lake is overflowing and freezing what? at the same time. Now a giant yeah, mass of jagged ice is pushing past the shore. At first the freak weather is somewhat fun to play Wait. in. But as the lake continues to... Oh, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I think I've heard this before. But I haven't seen it. If you're on a small island, you'll be you probably die. Spill over, they realize their houses will soon be in the way of the carnage. The moving mass of ice shards crackles loudly as it continues to expand. First past their yard and then up to their front door. Within less than a minute, the situation changes from amusing to desperate. It's hitting the houses. It's crawling up the walls of the houses. Yeah. Oh my god, their door is in! By now, the ice is piled up beyond control, and an entire lake's oh, worth of frozen no, water no, threatens to push the house's All right, guys, in. Within just six minutes, the entire landscape has switched from greenery to solid frost. I'm guessing they had to stop recording and evacuate shortly thereafter. Number six. Oh, yes. <laughs> Little Moo, you out here? Spectators gaze overhead at a bizarre white light that piercing the sky. Really does, Adults and children. Gather in the street yeah, with their nice cell phones person. out. None of them can figure out what is going on, much less put the situation into words. The whole ordeal almost looks like a helicopter searchlight, except what? that it makes no noise and does not move at all. A NASA experiment or even a portal to an alternate dimension are two more possibilities. However unlikely they may be, wherever this... What is that? What is that? Hmm? What is that? What is that thing? What... Is that? Dude, what the heck is the thing? That doesn't look right. That does not look right. So, I, what is going on with that thing? That looks like a, that could be like a UFO. You look like that. Is, oh, it happened somewhere over California in October of 2018 and has never been properly explained. Number five. Randy Doss claims to live in a haunted house and offers this video evidence for proof. I dare you to slam that door. <laughs> they start recording this video after the door oh, opens all by itself. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck was that? If you want a haunt, if you're in a haunted home, get out the house. What is wrong with this kid? What is wrong with him? What is wrong with him? Have common sense. Get out the house. Don't be daring things. At which point, they try to get the spirit to do something else. And with that said, the ghost seemingly takes up the challenge. Watch the crack in the door and you'll see there's absolutely nobody on the other side. No. Just for the record, it's only Nick and I here. Just when the door almost slams shut, this happens. <gasps> oh my god, no. Oh my god. The obvious answer is that there is a child standing on the other side of the door, but look again. There appears to be nothing more than an empty sleeve, and more importantly, it doesn't make contact with the door at all. This makes me think that whatever forced the door open could have also wrestled the nearby jacket too. Number 4. This Iraqi child is unique from her peers in many different ways, because her skin and hair have no pigment. All, but most importantly, her eyes are pure red. The reason she. What the heck? What? Red eyes. That's just a rare condition. Squints okay. into the camera is because her red eyes absorb all of the light instead of reflecting it. Her parents see this rare eye color as a blessing, but some see it as a curse. After all, red eyes are a nearly universal sign of possession in many cultures. 
Though I doubt this is the case here. Some superstitious folks will no doubt be wary of her before they have a chance to better understand. Her red eyes will stay this way for the rest of her life and hopefully cause her no social stigma. Yes. Number three, this video is also posted on my Chills Narrator subreddit by a user named Bebors. Whenever they find themselves at this particular highway intersection, their Lexus starts beeping out of control. Okay, this intersection, it always happens here. These innovative car sensors are designed to alert the driver when someone is in front of the car. No one is anywhere near them, but here you see both of the yellow arrows are lit, meaning it detects someone straight ahead. Seconds later, you can see the right arrow is on, which means that someone is now moving to the right. I just wanted to stress that this never happens at any other intersections, only this one. And according to Bebors, this event has occurred four times in the past two years alone. With this evidence in mind, this intersection could definitely be the haunting ground of someone who didn't make it across the road in one piece. Yeah, Number yeah. two, this archive 2001 video becomes even more horrific the closer you zoom in. In the bottom you can see a poor person helplessly waving at the rescue workers down below. There's little the firefighters can do because the ladders are too short to reach the floor that they are stuck on. I can only imagine what is going through their minds. Now being trapped with nowhere left. And you can barely see it but to the right of them is a second person who is waving just as frantically. I really hope these two were lucky enough to make it to the bottom floor. Yes. But if they're trapped on the edge like this, the chances at that point are sadly very low. These videos are always hard to watch. And my heart goes out to everyone who is affected on that day. Yes. Before yes. we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Are you curious about what I look like in real life? Then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT to find out. Do you like my narrations? If you answered yes, then tap the follow button and thank you for your support. To show my appreciation, a different follower gets shouted out every day on the Chills Instagram. Also, don't forget I upload a new video here on YouTube every Every Thursday and Saturday. Number one. Mm. The head spinning scene from <gasps> The Exorcist is one of the most iconic horror moments <gasps> in film history. And to pull it off, they had to design this horrifying life size dummy. Forget about Annabelle. This gruesome doll from The Exorcist is so well animated that it's often hard to tell the difference between the doll and its living counterpart. Look at this behind the scenes footage, for example. If you told me that this was a real person on the left, I would have absolutely believed it, especially back then. Watching them open up the doll's head and peel back layers of skin to tinker with its insides is creepy beyond all explanation. You almost expect it to spin around and bite off their fingers at any moment. The way the doll moves its eyes during this part looks so convincing that I always thought it was a real person. When you consider this movie is from 1973, you'll realize how advanced these special effects were. They were so good that these scenes ah. still give people chills over 40 years later and probably for the rest of time. Visiting... <sighs> I am. I'm sweating. Not chills. I'm sweating. And I'm actually getting chills. I watched a movie with my dad one time when I was like five, six years old. I, I wasn't watching the whole thing. I mean, if I'm with somebody, I got, I got somebody I can, like, sit with, I'm okay. But when it's when I'm alone, like this, like that, no way, bro. No way. Uh uh. When I'm sitting there watching it directly with somebody else, I'm okay with it. But when I'm alone, in the dark watching that, no, no way. I'm not. I'm not doing nothing. I'm, I'm sit there. I'm not watching nothing. Creepy, creepy. But how does a, a barricade go? No, no. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and comment down below if you want some more of these and. Like, I guess. I'll see you next time, guys. Don't oh, fuck. Okay. Bye.